Hey guys, we're here to do a playthrough for Sewer or Later, so let's dive right in. Right away, you can see how the slide jump in Cortex Strikes Back makes for a faster, smoother, and more fun playing style. And Vicarious Visions has made the handling feel extremely fluid, just like the original. Notice how moody and atmospheric this level looks and feels. Vicarious Visions has used a reality-based lighting to give the sewer a modern, more realistic sensibility. All right, here comes the secret yellow gem path. So I unlocked this by getting the yellow gem from the previous level, Plant Food. So I'm on my way to getting a perfect for this level. Just had to take a few shocks and lose a life so that Crash can restart on the regular level path. So here we can see some of the great lighting effects developed for the game. Take a closer look at how the lights and colors are reflected all the way up the walls of the sewer tube making the environment feel extremely immersive. So here you can also see some cool water effects. Notice the ambient water that splashes below Crash as he storms the tunnel along with the lifelike bubbles coming out of the scrubbing bubbletron. Dang, this level keeps on giving. Never a dull moment and the difficulty doesn't let up. All right, great, got my purple crystal and an extra life. So I'm ready to finish on the other side and get my perfect for the level. Alright, there it is. Final gem collected, and I got all 57 of those crates. We did it!